So today is uh, May 21st, 2022. Uh, I've had a really rough go of things at work these last few months and uh, I was working a really tough deal and it, it didn't come together. So uh, James is out here taking me canyoneering to get me cheered up again. And then I got to go back home and, and hit, put my nose to the grindstone, get some more work. If you know anybody looking to sell a home, make sure to let me know. So James and I, we're getting up on top of this ridge here. And then we think the ridge will uh, climb up a ways so we can get above the canyon and at some point rappel down into it. So we're up on the ridge, we're making the ascent to our location where we're going to drop in the canyon. The views are awesome up here. You can see down and into the canyon and uh, get pretty excited about this. Pretty excited I'm out here because uh, last deal I was trying to work at work. It's absolutely brutal. I cleared my entire calendar. It was a really tricky deal to try and get that one through. You know, this market's horrible. Well, market's very difficult for buyers right now, so I did that. And the whole thing fell apart. Right now I don't have any work. So I gotta go back after you're gone, James, and hit the pavement and find some work. Across the way you can see Catalina State Highway on the other slope. I doubt the camera will pick this up. He is really well camped. I can't believe you saw him. There's a Gila monster down there in the rocks and he's pretty well just hanging out, hiding. So pretty cool. You got a picture of him? or? heading down towards the canyon now at which point I understand there will be a tree and a 20-foot rappel to get into it pretty excited to check out what that's all about James informs me that the fun starts at the wash not at the <coughs> excuse me not at the first rappel which I, I kind of want I'm looking looking forward to rappelling My last few steps of what we call this, the approach. Yeah. And now we're what? So this is technically canyoneering now, huh? Yep. Hmm. Cool. There it is. That's the uh, canyon. This is the start, according to James. Well, 
Well, apparently this is the first Chappelle, uh, I think. What do you uh, We got to the first place to repel, and James was looking around and found out there's no good place to make an anchor for the rope. Uh, and he didn't bring his equipment to set anchors in the rock. So, fortunately, we're going to move on and explore this area a little bit. We won't go down that particular canyon, see if maybe there's a, another one we can go down or just explore some today. Agua Caliente Canyon is now below us. We're climbing up and over into Miligrosa Canyon. Hopefully we can get a Wi-Fi or, or an internet signal. James is gonna look up what equipment's needed to go down through that canyon. So James and I are just about over the ridge from Agua Caliente Canyon to Milagrosa Canyon. And we're going to give this canyon a look and see if we can't do some rappelling and exploring inside of it. So we're transitioning from the approach to the descent. I'm learning all this canyoneering talk. And that means we're just about into Milagrosa Canyon. This is canyon attempt number two. But officially we're canyoneering from what I understand. I've probably done this before, this much, but no uh, repelling yet. Was Miligrosa. Uh, that was the point where you have to repel down and we're not going to do that. Uh, James didn't bring enough equipment and it looked a little more technical than is good he says for my first uh, canyon repel. out of the wilderness here we're just gonna head back to the car it's getting a little warm and uh, we scouted those but we we're unable to go down them 